Hey guys, so today, uh, and I know now I've been posting more, uh, it's a good thing because there have been, my mind is on, it's like my synapses are really, really increasing and so much, there. there's so much thoughts in my head and uh, even, I can't contain my, I can't contain my mind anymore, I can't. Um, uh, so yeah, so I wanted to talk, and this is a personal matter, it's not about my religion, it's not about any political views, it's just my personal, it's a personal rant with the world, and uh, I'm in good humor, but earlier today, I had an experience that was a little unpleasant, and uh, I wanted to discuss this because it is... It does cause a lot of confusion, and it's one of the reasons I miss living in Japan, because when I was living in Japan, they have a great thing, personal space. That's the best thing ever. Because in Portugal, we are all mushy-mushy, we kiss each other, we... You know, there is a, there is some personal space, but there isn't... There are lots of people that don't respect personal space. And when you're greeting people, you don't have a personal space per se. <laughs> so, and uh, th there are occasionally some incidents. Now, in Portugal and in some other European countries, in Switzerland, actually, you, you give free kisses. So, for men, you greet with a handshake. Women kiss between themselves and... Uh, and uh, women and men greet by kissing each other in the, the cheeks, uh, stuff like that. But I've never felt comfortable with that. And uh, even my father calls me... Uh, um, um, a, a beast or something, uh, um, a wolf, you know, so, um, you know what you call those little uh, wild animals from the forest. Um, because I don't, uh, you know, I'm okay with greeting with a kiss. My father, my grand, my grandfather passed away, but close relatives and person, not comfortable with other people. But if the person is respectable, I know they, they, they have no perversion and stuff like that, I may um, accept it. So, basically, when, you, when I'm greeting people, I automatically extend my hand to handshake. Now, of course, a woman that does that is seen as cold, as rude in some cases and uh, it's like I I am uh, I'm not comfortable with people in my face that's even with women I try to it's hard because uh, women always greet with kisses it's harder but I always extend my hand as much as possible and uh, good idea to get some hand sanitizer that's my <laughs> recommendation always carry hand sanitizer um, but it's easier to clean your hands than your wet saliva cheeks and stuff like that thank uh, thank god some people barely even touch the 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 the, the, the cheeks but still um i don't like that so i extend my hand um and um, there were a few occasions, you know, some people call me prude, they call me insensitive, they call me a cold B-I something. Um, but it's, it's, I need my personal space. I'm not comfortable with hugging strangers. I'm not comfortable with kissing strangers. And even, you know, handshakes, it, it's a little too much contact to me. Uh, but I, um, I, I kind of, 
That's meeting halfway. I'm willing to greet the person with a handshake. I try um, to stay away kind of from afar when people are greeting each other and say good afternoon or have my hands busy. But if I don't, I automatically extend my hand and I expect as, as a message, you know, I am quite reserved. I need my personal space. I am polite, I am greeting you, and uh, you should accept it. And a lot of people accept it. But then, and usually those are the kind of people I do this the most for, because that those are the kind of people that I want to avoid to greet the most. Uh, they call me names, they call me... They say rude things on, oh, and... W- when you get a boyfriend, will you be so, such um stuff like that, really unpleasant stuff, or no wonder you don't have a boyfriend, don't no wonder, really, um, you know, stuff that puts you down for being um, reserved and having valuing your own personal space and. I'm sorry, I'm a human being, and I love to interact with people. There, I need uh, my... Uh, I don't like to be touched. I don't like to be touched. It's, it's like, I don't like people that I don't know touching me. That's the thing. I, I don't have uh, trust in people enough to grant them the right to touch me. That's, that's the thing. If you're a man, you need to respect my space as a woman. I don't want to be touched. I extended my hand. That's as far as you're going to touch me. And uh, that that it's like there are different levels of intimacy, and uh, people should respect that. And uh, so a few days ago, well, weeks. It was around Christmas. Uh, my brother, uh, my brother's girlfriend brought his kind of, they're redneckish, kind of gypsy-like people. Really, you know, they, they, they know how, they're not really smart. They, uh, <laughs> the smartest is uh, their daughter. She's actually smart, but they're, you know, they, 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 they're, they're simple. They're very simple. Um, they're simpletons, really. Uh, and um, my brother's girlfriend's uh, brother-in-law, uh, I agreed, I, I extended my hand, um, and I had to, to to step back at least five times because he was trying to kiss me, and he got close to my face, and I was still getting away. I was almost out of space, and... He was really rude. Um, it's it's it was it's it was a very exceptional thing because usually people take a hint when I get back. They may comment, they may be rude, but they don't get that close. They don't uh, try to force uh, kiss you in the face. Um, and today it almost happened, but uh, that person wasn't as extreme as uh, my brother's uh, girlfriend, uh, brother-in-law. So that guy, uh, basically, and I could almost, it's like I had to go back. And it's, it's, I still felt something uh, touching my shoulder. Um, and the sad part is that my father took his, uh, um, took his side. So that's the thing, and this is more of a message. Uh, I don't know, it depends on the country, but please, if a woman extends your hand to greet you, please don't try to kiss her. That's absolutely, it's, it's a lack of respect. I need my personal space, and I know people are going to comment on how cold I am or whatever, but I have a personality that is very, you know, 
I don't like people taking advantage of certain situations. I don't like close contact with people I don't trust and are not close to me. So that's that's the takeout from this. Uh, I know this is a random video, um, but this is a, a little frustrating because uh, to me, you know, shaking hands is already too much. That's the biggest compromise. Shaking hands is already already makes me uncomfortable. That's enough to make me uncomfortable. Um, depending on the person, of course, uh, because there's the level of, uh, you know, I don't feel very comfortable with certain uh, things. And does that make me unpolite? It doesn't. I greet the person. I, I extend my hand. I do as much to be court as courteous as possible. I just like to have my private space respected. Um, but I mean, <laughs> that's it. I don't know if any lady experienced this. Uh, it's just a, 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 an uncomfortable thing for me. And uh, it's weird because I was raised in this culture. Um, everyone around this does, does that, but I never felt comfortable with it. I really miss Japan because in Japan you don't kiss. When you greet people, you don't kiss. It's actually very rude to do that. Uh, so <laughs> there, it's one of the things I miss the most about Japan. They really respect your personal space, and uh, I felt that that's that was a great thing because you bow instead of uh, touching people. You bow. You you make uh, you know. There are other levels of politeness and other ways to greet people that show respect and uh, don't involve that uh, that much contact. So that's it for today. Uh, I wanted to say this because uh, it, it's a thing that kind of makes me a little uncomfortable. I don't get to vent a lot about it because... Uh, my family thinks I'm a freak in terms because of because I because I'm like this. Uh, well, my father, um, and a lot of people will call me rude, cold, cold stuff like that. Um, the hardest part is when they start um, inferring about love life and based on the fact that I don't uh, and, and mentioning things that are private you know they have nothing to do there's they there it's not their business uh, my love life it's not their business because if I was in a relationship of course my level of intimacy with that person would be different from a perfect stranger or an acquaintance it's um i don't know how these people make these equivalencies i'm sorry i have hair i don't know how these people make these equivalencies that are very false if you meet a man um you talk to that man you know that man you you get into a relationship you marry that person, the level of intimacy you have with a husband has nothing to do with the level of intimacy you have with perfect strangers, with acquaintances, and even friends. That's completely different. I don't get why society except, expects me to uphold uh, such uh, customs that make me uncomfortable. You know, I don't care. Call me, call me whatever. Um, I need my personal space. I need, uh, you know, there's a, a um, to me, it is more impolite to disrespect someone's, uh, you know, someone's personal space than reject greeting people with a kiss uh, or extending the, the um, 
your right hand. I'm I'm left-handed, so it's even harder for me because I need to make, pay attention to extend my right hand. So, you know, there's a lot of compromise already. I am extending my hand, and it's the thing. If men can greet with their hands, um, handshake, the, it's the most polite way for them to greet each other. Why can't women also use that to greet? Why does that make me unpolite? It doesn't. And so um, I don't care what you think. It is more rude to invade someone's personal space after that person has uh, recoiled or has, uh, you know, stepped back sometimes even multiple times to avoid those attempted attempted greets, you know, you need to accept if someone extends you your hand, if someone extends you their hand to give you a handshake, you don't try to kiss that person. That person is giving you a clear message. I'm not comfortable with that level of intimacy. Will you please greet in a more, a more non-personal way? You know, it's, I don't get why it is that hard for some people to get that. Uh, there are some levels of intimacy some people are not uh, comfortable with. And I'm sorry, I know I'm rambling in circles, but this is uh, really upsetting. And uh, so, yeah, good night. Uh, have a great, not a great day. Have a great night. I hope you liked this video even though it was just me venting about uh, nonsense. Uh, please subscribe, click the little bell uh, and uh, comment and tell me how do you feel about people invading your personal space. So, bye-bye.